Hey hello friends welcome to my channel in this Azure DevOps tutorial series today let's discuss about what is build stage in Azure pipeline all right so in our earlier videos we discussed about uh, stages and how do we actually work with stages in Azure pipeline right so build stage will be usually it will be a very first stage in any of the pipeline okay what you will actually do in build stages so you perform certain activities and you package everything as a single item okay so there is something called artifact okay i will try to cover about artifact in detail in our upcoming videos but uh, like imagine artifact as like a package okay for example say you are working on a code piece and you have combined everything like you have uh, software you have a list of jar files you are performing a lot of activities in end of the day you will have combined all your code piece into a single area right so those things you actually package it and create it as an artifact okay that is what you will generally do in a build stage okay so this is usually most of the times the very first stage in your azure pipeline okay so let's see an example how do you work with build pipeline and let yeah let's see an example about how to work with build pipeline all right so let me go to a <clears throat> the pipelines tab so project online devops demo this is the one i've been using for demo purposes let me edit it okay so i have a sample script which i don't need so let's try to uh, try to build a yaml which will actually help you understand how a build stage is working so let me start with trigger okay so this and all are optional but yeah in order to build a complete yaml you can actually use something called you can use all these things okay branches under branches you can include i'm planning to trigger my main branch okay so here it is stages now let's start our stage okay so we start with stages if we have multiple stages we will combine everything within this stages parameter okay stages tag let me add our first stage stage let's call it as build stage okay and let's try to have multiple jobs in inside it so jobs um, and then we'll have hyphen job build okay so let's call the job name as build and and then the usual stuffs like uh, in which pool you are trying to run right pool will be uh, let's say we have vm image right vm image image will be let's call it as ubuntu hyphen latest now let's have our actual steps okay and said steps will perform quite a few activities for example let me try to perform a um dot net installation okay so in that case the task name that i need to use is let's say use dot net had to okay so let's use this task to actually install dot net related details once i do this i need to provide input details okay it comes under inputs tag so under inputs i have something called package type okay package type can be sdk okay so we can usually install sdk stuffs it can package can be sdk and then we can specify what version you need to install so let's call it as anything like um like 6.x okay and we need to provide the installation path where do you need to actually install this so i'm providing an installation path here installation path will be system dot default directory okay so this is something you have to note okay so it, it will be system dot default working directory 
this actually points to the default working directory of your pipeline which will be your pipeline workspace okay so you can specify system dot default working directory and then under any other specific folders you need for example let's say uh, i want to store it under dot net okay so i will provide a folder name called dot net here okay so this is a very first uh, uh, task i am doing okay so similar to this you can have many other tasks as well you can have you can write your own script you can publish your solution you can uh, do lot of things okay let me for better understanding let me do another example as so let me try to publish another task uh, called copy okay let me publish another task called copy file set to okay let me perform a copy activity let's see what's actually happening so when i try to perform this copy am i putting it under right uh, yeah. under copy as usual i need to provide the inputs under inputs we need to um, provide the path to publish okay sorry we need to provide the source folder first we need to start with source folder under source folder uh, we, we need to provide from where we need to copy so i am planning to copy from source folder okay so this is the folder which i am planning to copy from okay so in order to give a better view what this will actually copy is it will try to copy all the items linked to this pipeline it will try to copy all the items from my repo which is linked to the pipeline which is available in the same project right so in this case i opened a new tab for repos right so all these items like add to to list all these items that is present inside your repo will get combined uh, you you will copy all these things into a, a new folder and have it ready for your other subsequent pipeline activities okay so now i'm just performing a co copy activity okay so copying from source folder to target folder if i have to clean the target folder i have a parameter called clean target folder to true and contents what i need to filter like what i need to copy is something i can specify here if i have to copy all the things right all my files all i need to do is just provide this double star which will actually copy all the contents so in case if you want to copy only specific um, files or if you need to provide any regular expressions you can do it here okay instead of double star you can provide regular expressions and copy only the relevant files that are required okay and once we have provided the contents we have to provide the we have to provide the target folder target folder will be let's use the same workspace let's use the same directory system dot default working directory and put it under target files okay so now this now i have performed my copy activity too finally this is something very important okay this is the key part of your build stage so all i'm doing is i'm installing dot net here that's the one task i'm just copying everything but what do you do with all these things right so i need to combine or package it as a single artifact so that this can be fa carried forward to my subsequent stages right so let me try to show you that so let's add a new task called let's add a new task called publish artifact okay publish artifact at one for now okay so what this will do is it will publish all your artifacts like it will combine all these uh, stuffs and put it under uh, put it under publish artifact okay so here and then inputs under inputs let me put my path to publish so here it is let me put a path to publish here we can provide the directory where we want to publish the all publish all the artifacts okay so let me copy this system dot default working directory all i need to do is just publish it to this path itself okay and we can 
given artifact name artifact name let me call it as drop okay this is the usual name that has been that is commonly used and publish location okay so publish location can be container file path azure uh, blob and all okay for now i'm just providing container container is the default publish location that is used within the azure pipeline directory okay in if you need to publish it to any other common share path like you can use file path which will copy it to which will publish to uh, a common network uh, where people can actually access from so that's one area and you can even publish to azure blob which is actually a secured uh, storage and all right so that we'll talk about all these parameters in our upcoming videos for now just um, and imagine that we are publishing publishing it to a container which is the default workspace uh, default publish location of the azure pipeline okay so all i need to do is just uh, enclose this within quotes now just validate and save it let me verify if the pipeline is correct right once this is saved let me run this pipeline okay now my build has started running you can see the build under jobs tab we have something called build okay this once i click this the build started running okay this will take a while to run so for meanwhile i'm just passing this video for a second once this build completes i will resume back yeah now my build ran successfully you can have a look here so my build ran successfully i can check each and every activity is here so use dot net task completed successfully and i also copied the files the copy file activity also completed successfully i copied from one particular folder to a target folder and finally publish build artifact is also succeeded all right so now let me go a step back and look at the artifact so if you look at this particular summary you have something called one published here so if i click on this you can have a look here i have something called drop so this is the artifact name that i have created right so you can see the artifact details here so under drop it actually created everything for me right so i have copied everything from my repo so this is the information i add in the repo right so so all this information is now copied into my artifact you know it's artifact uh, copied into my target folder and published as an artifact so it is available here similarly i did also use all the dot net related act um, installation activities right so you can see all the dot net related information is also present here okay so this way you can actually create an uh, you know create a uh, build pipeline starting with build stage and then you can perform few activities and then finally publish an artifact okay so that's so with that you actually completed your build stage okay but it is not the completion of a pipeline okay that is something you need to, you need to remember all we did is just started a build stage we haven't performed any completion of that pipeline okay so still there are a lot of activities left here okay this is an incomplete yaml but for example i just showed you how to start with a build stage okay this is a stage which is very important that usually any pipeline you take you it will actually start with the build stage only so once you complete this this particular artifact needs to be published uh, or uh, need to be used for your subsequent stages for example i have i have a build stage here in real time but you will have many other stages like you will uh, deploy it to uh, dev okay you will have a stage called dev okay deploy to dev similarly you have a stage called deploy to uh, qa environment you can deploy it to post production production environment and all okay so you can perform a lot of activities in your subsequent stages okay so in the subsequent stages you can actually download this at artifact and use it across your uh, tasks in your subsequent stages all right so that is again a lengthy step lengthy process let me try to make a separate video for that for now i hope you guys understood how to start with build stage in your azure pipeline all right so that's all what i want to cover as part of this video guys if you like this video please subscribe and follow my channel thank you